psychosis. <laughs> Someone asked Mimi and I if we were sisters, so she's just thrilled now. She's so happy. Jenny's going to be happy too. <laughs> it's going to make her day. Look at all the little markers. Do you see them? Mm -hmm. That is insane. You see, it looks like little dots all over the water. Let's see how close I can get. Yeah, you can see them there. The little dots all over the water. And we think those are markers. See them? Lobster traps. For lobster traps. They're like crazy all over the water here. But we're tendering today, so we have this beautiful view in Bar Harbor. So, what we've decided is that no matter how warm <laughs> clothes that we thought we part packed <laughs> we didn't pack enough of it because it's cold <laughs> so I bought, I bought this sweatshirt yesterday for $14 and it was wonderful it's so warm because it's cold and bring cold medicine because everybody gets the sniffles up here because it's so cold <laughs> because we have entered back into the United States on this port which is Bar Harbor Maine you have to go ahead and do immigration. Usually we do immigration when we get to the um, dis to a disembark the ship when we get back home or back to our wherever we where we left from, which is New York. But since we um, are now in the United States, you have to do it while you're on the ship, which we thought was kind of odd, but it was very easy. You go through, you have your key card, and you have your passport. And you just simply walk through a line, um, swipe your key card, and then the next you meet with the immigration officer to show your passport. Then they put a sticker on the back of your card that shows that you went through immigration, and that was it. So you cannot get off at the tender and to go into Bar Harbor unless you have the sticker on the back of your key card. So that's how we did it. We did it. It took no time at all, and so now we're just taking a little break and then we're gonna pack up our bags to head to head to our excursion. We'll probably go have lunch. Sorry, I'm helping me. <laughs> we're gonna have lunch. Just a quick little light lunch so that we're not starving because our excursion um, starts at 2.15 and then we get back here about 5 and the ship, we have to be back on ship by 5.30. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a tour of the Acadia National Park. On the tender. You ready, baby? Nice roomy tenders. water tower on the end of it. That's the Scudic Peninsula. Oh, there goes my husband. Hi, Gary. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Gary, you're a little close there, buddy. <laughs> you and I are going to have a come to Jesus yeah. talk when I get home. <laughs> It is a stunningly beautiful area here all along the coastline. along here just stunning. Lots, still lots of lobster buoys out here, Jenny. I'm kind of surprised there's still that many this time of year. Lobstering usually peaks at the end of August versus September, but I still see quite a few of them out to our left. We saw a lot pulling in today. They have, the lobstermen have to go out and check those every two or three days. Lobsters are carnivorous. They'll kill and eat each other if you don't. Usually last one left is the biggest one. off the water. Isn't that just spectacular?
57 Cottage Street is the old Mount Desert Street, was built in 1860. We've had a busy day. We got up this morning and we went to the restaurant for breakfast and then we went to immigration to check in. That was a very quick and painless process. And then we got paint, we came to our room and then we had a quick lunch and then headed to Acadia National Park, which was beautiful. We really liked it. We saw some deer. They were darker and they were big. <laughs> <laughs> compared to the deer that we have in South Carolina. They that we were there. Yeah, and they didn't care that we were there because they're protected, which was very nice to know. And I've gotten a cold through all this, and I had a feeling that was going to happen because it's cold here, but it's okay. And tonight we went to Cagney's, and it was so good. I really enjoyed it. And so we're kind of going to just kind of give you our take on three specialty restaurants that we chose because I know a lot of people are trying to decide which specialty resta restaurants they want to choose for Norwegian and there are so many to choose from. Can I just talk about it? The three restaurants, hey Mimi. Hey. <laughs> the three restaurants that we went to on this trip were Teppanyaki, which is a Japanese restaurant where they cook in front of you. The second one that we went to was Le Bistro, which is the French restaurant. And the third one was Cagney's. So Mimi, now after saying all that, which one was your, now that we've had them all, which one was your favorite? The French restaurant. And why the French restaurant? I just liked all the food so much. It was delicious. Service was great. Yeah. Good. The thing I like about the French restaurant was it was quiet. Yes, it was. Um, of course, the Japanese restaurant is going to be a little noisy because they're singing and everybody's having a good time, and that's to be expected. I felt like Cagney's was loud. Yes. Yeah. But again, all the food was delicious. Yes. Every place we ate at, the food was delicious, mm -hmm. except for the green tea, cake, and ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Teppanyaki. Get if you want dessert, just yeah. get the fruit plate was the other choice. Yeah. Or just skip it because they give you so much food you really don't need dessert. Always take the fruit. Always take the fruit. <laughs> Word for the wise. <laughs> so um I think the, my favorite was Cagney's hmm. for the food. Um it, it was all good. It was sure. it was really good. It was a lot of food. Um, I had the, the shrimp and the, the little shrimp appetizer, which was three jumbo shrimp, and I had the soup. I think the soup I had at La Bistro was better than the soup I had tonight. But the dessert I had tonight was better than the dessert I had at La Bistro. So, yeah. It was all good. It was all good. Um, so whatever your taste is, whatever you want, we did. That's the only three that we. Ch try there's other ones to try that we didn't try we're gonna have um two more nights and i don't think we're not gonna do special restaurants so we'll just probably probably do a shins mm -hmm, i think so one night and it's always full which yeah which is complimentary and it it's always looks full and everybody seems to say it's delicious mm -hmm. 
And we'll probably do the main dining room again because we just like it. Yep. If you really don't want to spend the money, the main dining room is really good. Mm -hmm. So, that's our take on it. Oh, and the buffet is good. We've yes, had, it is. We've had buffet lunch. We haven't had breakfast or dinner. Mm -hmm. So, that's our take on it. We decided we kind of do that quick little review on the specialty dining and just kind of share with you what we did before we end the night. And tomorrow, we are in Portland, Maine. And we have a private tour instead of using NCL. Because mm -hmm. NCL was booked. It was booked. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.